Hi everyone, today we are going to do a full body Pilates reformer workout using a foam roller. As far as equipment goes for this workout, all you need is a reformer, a box, and a roller. My roller is three foot in length and I'm using a soft consistency roller. The consistency is totally up to you, the firmness. You can choose all the way from firm to soft, whatever feels good. As always during this workout, please feel free to modify as necessary. If anything feels like it's not appropriate for you today, you can eliminate that exercise and just move on to the next. I think this is gonna be a really fun, feel good workout. I'm looking forward to it. I hope you are too. Let's get started. All right guys, so I'm all set up. I'm on two heavy springs. My headrest and my foot bar are down and we're actually gonna start laying on top of the roller. So I'm gonna take my roller between my shoulder blocks so that it meets the end of the carriage and then we are gonna carefully sit down on top of it. Take your time to get nice and centered. You want your tailbone all the way at one end and then the crown of your head should also be attached to that roller. Arms resting down by the sides, and I just want you to take a few moments here to settle in. So relaxing the shoulder blades down around the roller, softening the front of the ribs, softening the sacrum, and just keeping a neutral pelvis so that the hip points are pointing straight up to the ceiling. For now, my forearms are down on the carriage next to me. If you feel like you want a little more stability, you could bring your hands to the outside edges of the reformer as well. When you're ready, you're just gonna bring your feet as close to one another as you can, trying to find a little bit of instability, controllable instability through the torso. Brace the belly, and when you're ready, we'll start by bringing just one knee into a tabletop position. From here, I want you to put that foot back down and then bring the other foot back up. So we'll just alternate here a few times, keeping the weight heavy in the back of the ribs and trying to minimize the wibble wobble of the roller as much as possible. Good. If you're feeling good here and you wanna stretch those arms out nice and long, lifting the elbows, you can do that as well that will increase the need to stabilize the torso. Nice, let's just do two more here. And last one. Leave your right foot down on either the platform or the foot bar, bring your other leg up into a tabletop position, flex the foot, and let's just kick that leg out and in here. Inhale out, exhale deeply, draw the navel in as the knee comes back over the hip. Let's do three more. Last one, hold the leg out and we're gonna slide it out to the left and back to the center. All the other parts of your body are going to try to adjust in relation to that leg. So I want you to think about keeping everything else nice and still especially the right thigh bone and right knee. Let's do three more here. And last time through. Bend that knee, place that foot back down and switch to the other side. Other leg comes up, flex the foot and let's just press out and in. Press out and in. Let's do three more here. On this last one, hold the leg extended. And again, we'll slide that leg laterally out to the side and then back to the center. Imagine you're sliding that leg just right across a tabletop. And we'll do three more here. Last one, bring the knee back center and lower that foot down. From here, I'm gonna take my feet a bit wider and I like to rest my heels down on my platform. That's an option for you as well. From here, we're gonna lift our head up and take our hands behind our head, elbows nice and wide. When you're ready, you're gonna exhale and curl the torso up, looking toward your thighs, and then inhale, lower the torso back down. Exhale to lift, inhale to lower. Try to keep the tailbone anchored down on the roller throughout the exercise. 
Nice job. Now, if you wanted to challenge your instability a little bit more, you could just bring those feet a little bit closer to one another. Let's do three more here. And last one, curl all the way up, lower halfway down. From here, curl up and rotate to the left. Come halfway down to the center, curl up and rotate to the right. Come halfway down to the center. Exhaling as you twist. Let's do four more. And last time. Good, lower your head down onto the roller, rest your arms down by your sides. Let's just do a little mini bridge here. So tuck the tailbone under, lift the hips up off of the roller for a moment. See if you can extend through the front of the hip crease and then slowly roll the spine back down, really tucking the tailbone under so that the low back can find the roller before your tailbone comes all the way down. Roll the spine back up again and then roll the spine back down. Let's do two more just like this. And last time through. Very nice job. All right, we're gonna do one more thing. So walk your feet a little bit closer to one another, maybe sit bone distance apart. Bring your left knee into a tabletop position. You might stay here. This might be where you are today. Or see if you can float your right arm up off of the carriage as well and marry your hand to your knee, your knee to your hand. From here, we're just gonna put gentle pressure inward with our hand and our knee, trying to find your oblique sling. So that line that connects your right rib to your left hip, that's where I want you to feel the connection. Just hold here for a few more moments. Try to soften into this exercise. Let's hold for four, three, two, and one. Control your leg, control your arm to come back down. Let's switch to the other side. Knee comes up. Maybe the other hand hovers. Maybe the other hand comes to the inner knee and then just find that pressure inward. Now we're working on our left um, rib to our right hip connection. Hold here for five. Last two and last one. Slowly release, come down with the foot in the hand. From here, we're gonna carefully slide off of the roller. So I'm just gonna take my feet down to the floor, my hips down to the side of the roller and sit up for a moment just so I can readjust some things. So I'm gonna leave my headrest down. You can put yours up if you'd like. I'm gonna put my foot bar up and then I'm gonna take the roller right below the lip of the foot bar and then lay down. It's always nice to have a teacher to come do this for you. But if you're home by yourself, just take your time to readjust so that the roller is right below the lip. Your feet are on the roller, hips distance apart, arches on, arms down by the sides. From here, just extend the legs long and bend the knees back in. Take a moment just to be flat on your back. Equal weight through both feet. Knees pointing right up to the ceiling. Find your breath. Let's do four more here. Last two. And last one. Good, bring your heels together and your toes apart. You're still on your arches. And let's just keep going. Nice and smooth. Let's do four more here.
And last one. Come all the way in, heels together, toes together as well, inner thighs are together. Wrap your toes over the roller like bird on a perch and press out and in. Nice, feel that expansion of the arch of the foot. Let's do four. Last two. And then on this last one, I want you to leave the legs extended. Walk up to your toes. Make sure that you're pushing that roller straight forward into the foot bar. And then let's just go for a little jog. One heel drops down and then the other. Last four. Last two. And last one. Come all the way back in, move your arches back on, leave your left foot on the roller and let's bring our right knee into tabletop. From here, we're gonna press all the way out and as we pull in, you're gonna flex and extend your right leg. Point and pull, flex and extend. F finding a rhythm that works for you, you can go faster or slower than me. Let's do four more here. Just really warming up through those feet. Last one. Let's hold the left leg extended, extend the right leg to the ceiling and circle the leg around. Good, maybe the arms come up to the ceiling. Last three. Reverse. Anchor that left side of the hip down into the carriage here. Last three. And last one. Good, come all the way in. We'll switch to the other leg. So right uh, arch on, press the carriage out, pull the carriage in, flex the foot over the foot bar. Point and bend, flex and reach. Nice, let's do four. Last one. Extend your right leg long, left toes to the ceiling and circle. Last two. Good, reverse. And last one. Bring both feet down onto the roller, arches on. Bring the carriage just halfway in. And let's bring one knee into tabletop and then switch to the other side. So you're keeping the carriage nice and still in space and we're just walking through the feet. Tailbone is heavy, spine is long. Good. Let's do four, three, two, and last one, bring both feet down, still keeping the carriage just as it is. Let's tuck and roll our tailbone under. You're gonna wanna feel like you're pushing the uh, roller straight forward into the foot bar and then roll the hips back down again. Now I don't expect your hips to get super high here. I'm just looking for a little lift of the pelvis and a lot of core control on the way up and on the way down. On the way up and on the way down. Let's do two more. On this last one, you're gonna hold the hips up, release the tailbone down. So your hips are lifted, but you're in more of a neutral spine. And now bring one knee into tabletop, keeping the carriage still, transfer to the other side. Relax your shoulders, relax your jaw. Good, let's do two more on either side. Beautiful job, come all the way in. From here, we're gonna sit all the way up. Whoops. Change your spring. So I'm gonna come down to one heavy spring. I'm gonna kneel facing back with my roller in front of my 
shoulder blocks. Now this is not for everybody. I'm gonna have my knees on top of the roller. If you'd rather have your knees just on the carriage, um, you can do that as well. This elevates you a little bit. It adds a bit of instability. We're gonna reach down and grab our straps. I'm gonna choke up on those straps just a little bit. Very simply here, we're just gonna do chest expansion. So squeeze the glutes a little bit. Press your pelvis forward, spine is long, neck is long. Bring those arms back and bring those arms forward. Good. Let's do four more here. Now it's easy to lean the body back with that roller underneath your knees. I know that I'm doing it a little bit. I'm trying my best to keep my shoulders over my hips and my hips extended. Last three. And last one. Good, now bring those arms forward, maybe choke up on your straps a little bit more. Let's pull our elbows back and then extend the arms long, bend the elbows and then straighten them forward. Tricep extension, bend and stretch. Last three. Last one, hold the arms back. Little bend, big stretch of the triceps. Stretch, stretch for five, four, three, two, and one. Bring those straps back forward. Take your hands into your loops. If you have a choice, go short loops. Bring your arms out to the side. From here, we're just gonna press the backs of our palms to the back of the room, and then bring our arms slightly forward. Trying to maintain a little tension on your spring throughout. Keep pressing the pelvis forward. You've got four here. Last one. Let's angle the right arm down and the left arm up. Turn your torso slightly. And again, open the arms and close the arms. I'm gonna add a little bit of chest ex um, back extension as my arms widen. Last three. Last time. Stand up on your knees. Last exercise up here. Rotate the torso slightly. Lengthen the arms back as you lift that heart forward and up. Last three. And one more time. Very nice job. Carefully sit your hips back towards your heels. Let's place the straps back for a moment and come off of the roller. Very nice job. From here, we're gonna lay down again. You can lift your headrest up if you'd like. <clears throat> Good. So, I'm gonna put another red spring on or heavy spring on, and then I'm gonna strap my roller up between my ropes. Take your time doing this. Again, having an instructor to do it for you is like super handy. Good. You really wanna make sure that your ropes are even. And then we're gonna to come to lay down on our back. Head on the headrest, both feet on the roller. Take your time here. Arch is on, sit bone distance apart. Just take a few moments to make sure that your feet feel nice and steady. Tailbone is heavy, arms down by the sides. And then we will start by just pressing our legs forward and then bending our knees in. Nice job. A little wiggly wobbly feeling is okay, but t do take notice as to whether you're pressing 
you know, more firmly with one leg than the other, more quickly with one leg than the other. Let's do three more here. And one more. Good. Extend those legs long. Lift them up to the ceiling. Maintain connection to that roller with the arches of the feet. Feel that beautiful stretch down the hamstrings. And then exhale the legs back forward. Lift. And lower. Really enjoy that stretch. Let's do three more here. The last time. Good, let's combine the two. So lift the legs up to the ceiling, knees are directly over the hips, slide the roller down an imaginary wall, keeping the carriage nice and still, and then press the legs out across the room. Again, we lift, keep the carriage still as we bend those knees and then press the carriage away. Nice. Let's do three more here. One of my clients the other day said, when I'm pressing the carriage away or when I'm pressing my feet away, like in frog, should it feel like I'm pushing a refrigerator away from me? And I thought, oh my gosh, that's like the perfect, the perfect feeling, right? Press that fridge away. Last one. Nice, and now let's reverse it. From your long line, bend your knees in. Keep your knees and your thigh bones still and extend the legs to the ceiling and then lengthen your legs down. Bend, extend, lower. Bend, extend, lower and it is kind of helpful to keep your hands on your thighs just to make sure they are staying still in space last two and one more nice job from here bend your knees i'm going to take my hands onto my metal clips and then walk it so that my knees are over the roller if your headrest is up i'd like you to take it down and then scoot yourself a little bit away from your shoulder blocks. From here, I want you to grab onto your metal pegs with your hands, elbows are wide, and let's just press our knees away from us, kind of squeezing into the roller, opening up the hips just a little bit, and then pull the roller towards us and roll the spine off. And again, peel the spine back down, open up the hips a little bit at the bottom, belly is braced, and then roll the spine back up. Good, let's do two more like this, and then you can stay with this rolling action or we can add on a little bit. Good, now if you're coming with me, you're gonna roll your knees up over your shoulders, then start to extend through the hips, engaging the glutes. See if you can get your feet down a little before your spine, and then at the last moment, roll the spine down. So we'll roll those um, knees over the shoulders, start to extend the hips, squeezing the glutes, press the roller down, and at the last moment, lower that spine down. Very similar to an exercise that we do on the Pilates Tower. Last three here. It's more of an undulation, last two. And one more to go. Very nice job. From here, just take a moment to let the roller come nice and tight to you. Grab onto your straps and rock yourself a little side to side. Give yourself a stretch. A very nice job. Okay, let's slip ourselves out from in here. Take your feet down to your foot bar and then we'll carefully come up. It's not the most graceful thing in the world. Okay, so you come all the way up. Very nice job. 
From here, for just a moment, let's place the roller in front of the shoulder blocks. We're gonna come down to one red spring here, one heavy spring, and then we're gonna slip ourselves in between the roller and the shoulder blocks. So grab on, take the roller overhead, and place it just around your waistline and then adjust yourself so that your feet are against your shoulder blocks. And this is like a little seat belt. Now that you're here, just make sure that the straps feel nice and even, and then you're gonna grab onto the roller outside of your straps. From here, we're just gonna do a gentle press forward and then bend the elbows in. Hands are really wide here for now. Good, now you can stay here with your hips down on your heels, or if you'd like to press the pelvis forward as you extend the arms, please feel free. Opening up that hip crease as you press the roller away from you. Last two, and last one. Sit down on your heels if you're not already, slip your hands inside the straps, and bring that bar, or that roller, right to your shoulders. From here, press the roller away from you again. The elbows are pointing straight down to the floor here. So it's almost like a little tricep extension. And then again, if you'd like, stand up on the knees, bend the knees, stand up on the knees, and bend the knees. See if you can bring that roller straight to your forehead as you sit back. Let's do four. Last one. Sit your hips back to your heels, bring your hands into a diamond position on the roller, bring the diamond shape to your forehead. From here, you're gonna press the roller straight up to the ceiling and then bend your elbows straight back down. So the carriage is virtually not really moving at all. If you'd like to do this seated here, you're welcome to. Otherwise, come all the way up and stay in high kneeling as you stretch the roller straight up to the ceiling and back down. Let's do three more here. And one more. Good. Bring that ruler back down across your belly and let's unstrap our straps. Good. All right, have a seat on your reformer. <clears throat> I'm gonna bring one knee close to your sh my shoulder block and the other foot is back behind me in a Z position. And then I'm just gonna bring that roller onto the wooden frame right beyond the headrest. From here, we're just gonna do a little mermaid stretch. So I'm gonna stretch that roller away from us, lengthening up and over, and then come on back all the way up to seated. Again, up and over. And come on back up. Try to keep your knees weighted on the carriage as you reach away. Let's do two more here. And one more time. Good. Come out one more time for me. And now let's rotate both hands onto the roller and press it away. And then pull back up and in. Good, last two. And one more time. Very nice job. Bring that roller close to the headrest. Let's flip over and do the other side. Rotating around, one knee is nice and close to your shoulder blocks and you're in that Z position again. Bring your arms out to the sides, lean over and stretch the roller away. And then sit all the way back up. Take this moment just to allow the body to release. Let's do two more. And one more time. 
Good. Rotate to the roller, press the roller away with both hands if it feels good to you. And then roll back up. Nice job, let's do two more. Very nice job, okay. Beautiful. Let's place that roller back through the headrest. Still on one heavy spring. And now we're gonna sit down on it. So one knee on either side. Tailbone will be anchored down onto the roller. Grab onto your straps. I'm gonna choke up on my straps just a little bit. We're gonna stand up tall on the knees. And then we're going to do um, thigh stretch here. So keeping the pelvis pressed forward, um, lift up into your straps just a slight bit, and then we'll lean the body back, squeeze that roller a bit with your inner thighs, and then come on back up. Let's just do two more like this. And then you'll have the option to stay with this variation. Nice, on your next one, lean the body back. Sit your tailbone back till it touches the roller. Tuck your tailbone under, keeping your upper body still in space, and then stand back up on the knees. So we lean, tailbone touches, tuck it again, and stand back up on the knees. Last three. Last two. The last time. Taking this one step further, let's lean the body back. If you would like to add extension of the spine, maybe take your head back towards that roller, then chin to the chest and stand back up on the knees. Totally optional. Let's do two more. Lean, arch, and come up. Last time. Chin to chest, soften the sternum, stand and release. Beautiful, okay. We've got one more little challenge. So, standing all the way up, I'm gonna take my ropes down into my well. I'm gonna change onto one medium spring. And I'm going to slide my roller underneath my carriage. You could also, if you don't have a carriage this high, you could use a smaller roller in between the rails as an option. Step carefully into the well. Good, now you'll have to play around with distance as far as where the roller is placed away from the shoulder blocks. From here, hands on the, front of the frame, arches of your feet are on the roller, sit bone to hip distance apart, Hands are on the shoulder blocks, fingertips pointing in. Find a low squat. Spine is long. From here, just pull the elbows back. Nice and steady and controlled. Bring the arms back forward. Here's where you test the waters and make sure that the body is a good distance from the carriage. Make sure you feel nice and stable. Belly is braced and you're really working that back body to pull the carriage in. Let's do three more here. The last one. Extend the carriage back away from you and let's just sit down into a mini squat. So maybe down two inches, maybe down an inch and up an inch. Last five, four, three, Two, and last one. Now you can go back to your double pull or take your left hand behind your head. Hips and feet are square. Pull just right, the right arm for five. Last two, last one. Switch arms or continue on for five. Three. And last one. Good. Bring those hands back forward, this time fingertips pointing down. Pull the carriage towards you as you start to straighten your legs and round the spine. Nose looks towards your knees. 
and then extend the spine long, reach the carriage back home. Again, round and pull, soft bend in your knees at the top, and then extend. Last three. Find your deep exhales. Last two. And one more. That's it. Hands down to the wooden frame. Carefully step off of the roller, then step out of the frame. Take your roller and slip it out from under there. Place it on your rails. And now we're just gonna come down to kneeling on the carriage one last time. So kneeling here, knees against the shoulder blocks, fingertips on the roller. Good. You can do fingertips facing in, or palms facing in, or fingertips facing down. We're just gonna roll the roller away from us, hips to the sky, head through the upper arms, take a beautiful stretch here, and then roll yourself back up. We're not really moving the carriage here. You can play around with rotating the arm bones as you bring the roller away. Maybe the palms start to rotate towards one another. And then as you pull the roller towards you, maybe the palms start to turn back down. Nice. Last time here. Good, take your left hand to the center of the roller, your right hand to the wooden frame, and let's just rotate and come back center. One more time, extend the roller away. Maybe your frame hand comes down to the floor or rotates underneath you to the other side of the frame. Just take that beautiful twist. And then when you're ready, come all the way up, switch out your hands, other side. Your left hand goes to the frame. We just twist and press the roller away. Last time. Good, and then option to change your hand position. Come back center, both hands on, roll the roller towards you, come all the way up to kneeling. Good, when you're ready, let's have a seat. Feet flat on the floor in front of the carriage. Take a moment to just inhale the arms up overhead. Exhale, the elbows wide, open up the chest. Let's do two more just like that. Inhale and exhale. One more to go. Inhale it up and exhale it down. And you guys are all done. Thank you guys so much for joining me for that foam roller flow on the reformer. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave me a comment or question down below. Let me know what you thought. Let me know what you'd like to see next. And I will see you next time. Thanks, guys. Bye.